Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be installing an RMG tail tidy on this Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX. Let's do it. Right guys, so we're going to start off by taking the uh, rear seat off. Lower la. Job's done. See you later. Then we're going to take the uh, toolkit out. Just because we're not going to need it, we need to get into the bolts just behind it. So on this bike, I do have uh, a 12 uh, USB under there. I'll need to take that out as well. So I'll just unplug that. And shove that at it. We got you. So there is a couple of bolts. Four just there. Two 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 there. A lot of bolts. Like that. Cable clip. Check that out just so it's nice and uh, nice and out of the way. You will need to take the uh, the front seat off as well, but I'll leave that on for the time being. Don't you know be a noisy cunt? You've got to be a noisy cunt. You've got to be a noisy cunt. Don't you know noisy cunt? Big old bolt then. Take them off on both sides. Uh, a junction box by the looks of it. Nice little box to keep everything. It's filled up just by uh, just for just for just them two. Oh, yeah. Take the uh, rear plastic uh, plastics off. One grab rail out.
two grab rails out. So once you've done that, take the front seat off. Two more screws just down there. Careful not to lose them little white washers again. So once you've done that, you'll notice all this is all this is loose. release that straight off see the little sliders just pull it pull it towards the back of the bike and you can throw it in bin so do this may apply don't actually throw it in the bin three different types of uh, allen key for that Stupidity. Now, in theory, this should drop the back end um, down onto the tyre. All right, they're done. You're laughing about dropping the back end. <laughs> Every now and then, mate, you've got to drop back in. And because I do have a USB under here, I do believe we need to take that off as well. So let's take that out. So we just take that plate out with the USB. So once you've done this, obviously the back end's nice and loose here. So just come to the side, pull it out, pull this side out here, and feed the uh, tool strap. And then once you spin it around, you can see you get right underneath. So as you can see there, there's plenty, plenty of movement in there. You can see down into there to get to all the cables that you need to get to. Obviously you're going to be taking all this bit off. 
Right guys, so once you drop this down, so you'll need to undo these two screws here. This cable, you need to follow it down to the right hand side. We'll get these three. So there's a black one, a blue one, and the white one. If you undo all them, and there's a little, uh, little rubber um, holder together, undo that. Once you've taken that out, feed them back through there and just make sure they're nice and loose here then take these screws off once you've done that get ready to hold this bit because it will drop so once I've done that I'll come back and rejoin you Right then guys, so you can see some screw holes, so there's a screw there, screw there, um, and then this bit will just come apart as you can see with a little clip there to get to the indicators, which obviously I'm going to need to take that off to fit the uh, RNG tail tidy. So I'll unscrew them and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Right then guys, so once you've taken them uh, screws out, you should just be able to pry it open with this little bit here. Got a little flattered screwdriver, just pry this bit up here and it all pops out. You'll need to undo this uh, this little bolt here. And then you will need the indicators, which are just, just little screws just in there and obviously on the opposite side. So we'll, uh, we'll undo that bolt there. And take this off and then we'll join you back when we're fitting the, uh, the new tail tidy So there you go guys, it's all put back together So I'm going to be using the standard uh, standard indicators um, Use the same brackets the way they go So obviously you need to um, put the, uh, the number plate light back on Connect all these little clips together once you've put it all back together So these does need to be if you are using the panniers needs to be at the furthest possible setting so this needs to be furthest away than from this so obviously when you're sitting down you get a little bit more clearance between the pannier to where you're sitting once you've done that feed all the cables back through so again i'll be using standard indicators so the power cable which uh, does come with these uh, bullet connectors which does come with that on there from r and g which uh, is this bit here so that's your number plate light Put the rubber uh, rubber cap on there, cap, whatever it's called, rubber rubber piece, just stop vibration against metal, stick these bit on here, and then uh, feed these back through the way it goes. It's getting a bit dark outside, so we're against time. So as you can see, or maybe not see, because it's dark as out, I've just got Dan just to hold that, just to support it, just while I fed all the cables back through, uh, back through the clips, and uh, back into where it goes there. Uh, make sure at this point you test all the lights work. So I've just done that, they all work, it's all well and good. Out, sir. Darken that. Darken that. Right, guys, so the bike, uh, we've moved it inside because the uh, run out of daylight. So the bike is uh, half back together. Obviously, tail tide is on there, minus the number plate. Uh, put all the screws, bolts, nuts, things like that back in place. So once you've done that, it's literally a case of reversing, uh, putting the uh, the handles there, putting the actual plastic surrounds, putting the front seat and then the back seat, and then you're done. Chuck the number plate back on it. So there you have it, guys and girls. The tail side it is now fully installed. As you can see there, it just, just sit nice and flush when the panniers are on. I'll show you with panniers off as well. So yeah, but guys and girls, with the panniers off, I think it overall does change the uh, the look of the bike massively. So yeah, bike's nearly put back together. Um, it's just the uh, grab rails and um, the back plastics and the number plate to put back on. So we have run out of daylight, unfortunately, so we've had to move it back inside. There's not a great lot of room in here just to, to concentrate and film at the same time. Hopefully you get the gist of it. If you do have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I reply to all your comments. Smash that like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.